more darkness, uh, and more cold, uh, more wet we are facing these days. Uh, and it appears that uh, it will be get more darker, more colder, uh, which is the normal thing. And uh, yet there are some people who would like to visit Scotland to experience the Scottish weather. <laughs> uh, maybe that's the reason why they say Scotland is an uh, amazing place. So all year around, uh, you can have uh, different seasons and different experiences. Right? But for us, ourselves, right? when we, when I came to Aberdeen, I wanted to explore everywhere. Right? I'm visiting this and visiting that, uh, wandering in the mountains and visiting in the castles spending time by the rivers and walking by the rivers, counting the salmons and fish and collecting pebbles and so on. Yeah? And even mesmerized by this different colors as we see now, uh, different colors coming around uh, everywhere. Yeah? And that was once upon a time. <laughs> yeah? But now, probably, in a classical term, getting old. <laughs> uh, rather than enjoying these changes, now beginning to complain. Oh, you know? <laughs> right? So, uh, this is how nature is, right? And now beginning to feel like, oh, I have seen it, I have done it, and now I don't want to be, right? I don't want to see, I don't want to visit, uh, I don't want to wander around like that. And which is quite common, uh, when we haven't seen it, and we have heard about it, then we want to go and see. Once we have seen, once we have visited, then it's like the tick the box now. I don't want to go back there anymore. Eh? And when somebody talks about it, oh yes, I have been there. Do you want to go back again? No. <laughs> right? So like that. Eh? This is how our life is. Until we see it, we always have this desire to see it. Desire to experience it. Desire to want it. And that is another reason why uh, we always feel wanting, we always feel liking, we always feel something different all the time. In the meantime, when things changes, somehow deep down in our heart brings dissatisfaction, uh, unhappiness, and don't want it to be changed. So there is a mixture of uh, wanting to see different things and in the meantime, when we close look at ourselves, we don't want it to be changed. So we want things to be fixed as we want them to, to be. And in the meantime, the nature is such that it won't be like that. And when this, some changes takes place, then we feel happy. So we have to look into ourselves. Uh, when things change, why shouldn't we be happy? Why only when things change outside, do we feel happy uh, and we entertain with that? Why not inside ourselves? Why not our feeling ourselves? Emotions, uh, life changes. Yeah, body changes, feeling changes, mindset changes, perception changes, everything changes, then why worry about that one? Why not accept that? Right? So the practice of a meditation is something that we are learning to see these things and rather than complaining about it, learning with it uh, and making a peace with that. 
so that whenever somebody comes and talks about these changes, ah yes, I have been there, I know, that's it, that's fine. Well, and that's how we will be able to deal with different changes and all the things that change uh, doesn't make any different to us. All that's happening is, ah, I have seen it, oh, that's a wonderful, oh, it's coming to be again. Uh, it's like mm, when summer comes uh, after spring starts, uh, weather becomes a little bit warmer and, ah, summer is coming. And we look for the summer. Before we enjoying the summer, oh gosh, this winter starts. <laughs> right? <laughs> huh? And then winter comes, oh, this is winter, so cold, so cold. And suddenly spring begins. Huh? So, even a little things we see and then we enjoy that. Same with our life too. Our life always ups and downs happening. Even the monks. <laughs> <laughs> uh, always ups and downs uh, get sick uh, body feels sick feeling goes up and down there's so many things I want others to do it then they don't do it then again feeling goes up and down what do you do? look at ah, I am feeling not good now emotion changing now because I can't change others, but I have a control of my feeling, my emotion. Uh, so I will have uh, my uh, thing to do. It's like uh, you're having a, a car. Uh, so whole life is like a, a big a car, maybe a Mercedes or a Toyota, <laughs> whichever car you have. Mm -hmm. It's up to you, a right turn or a left turn or a stop there. You maneuver your life. Yeah. Sometimes you may lost the turn. What you will do? You will go a little further. You turn and come back again to take the same exit, <laughs> right? Or find other exit and then coming back to the same road. So you're not leaving the car. So our life is like that. So learning with these different things when it's happening, you know, all the feelings and all the emotions. It, ah, it is happening like this. Oh, okay. Yeah. I change my perception. I change my feeling. I know my emotions. So that's how um, meditation will help us to maneuver right way, in a right place. Doesn't matter whether that is Bentley or the Toyota. <laughs> uh, life always treats the same. All the matter is you know how to drive it properly uh, and that driving skill comes with the practice right the ability to deal with that so uh, practice of a meditation is something like that you have a car and learn to drive and whatever comes along the way you just learn with it and make happiness with that learning to notice all the changes learning to notice all the feelings, all the emotions, doesn't matter what that. It's okay. Huh? There will be other things happening. And a life always brings happiness. Right? So with this, uh, I offer this as a reflection. Uh, let's practice meditation.
So sitting in a comfortable position and leaving all your responsibilities aside. Just uh, relax yourself. I feel the body presence here. Nothing to do, nowhere to go. This is a perfect moment to be. Consciously aware that I am sitting here in this room. No need to worry about anything. And yet, the moment is changing. Breath is changing. Experience of the breath is changing. Knowing is changing. A perception is changing. You may focus your thought, your thinking, that's also changing. You're not thinking the same thing, same way, same story again and again. Content may be the same, but the telling stories are different. Thinking differently. Each time when you think that you know, each time when you think that you're aware, that's also changing too. If we look at closely, what making us to be miserable, feeling not happy, sadness, we realize, oh, I'm holding on to something. Whether the incident, the story, the word, the feeling, the emotion, making ourselves unhappy making ourselves miserable. But in reality, that's changing. So developing this awareness to see these changes In the meantime, we have a breath as a platform to stand on. So we take a refuge. This breath as the refuse point. Rather than just lost into the thoughts and stories now and then come back to the breath. Mindful of the breath coming in and going out. You may play with it, you may learn with it, we may work with this incoming breath and outgoing breath.
So consciously being mindful of this incoming breath and outgoing breath and the rest of other things, just let it flow in the breath. That's like a flowing water and it comes with so many other stops. We're not picking them up. Our job is to sit in the sit at the bank of the river and watching these flow, not picking any stuff coming along the river. While you're contemplating on the breath, you may notice this breath on your nose or on your belly. So wherever you feel comfortable, when it's more prominent, use that as the object to be with it. So constantly being aware of that as the breath comes in and goes out whatever experiences that you experience at that place is being aware of that do not interfere with it and do not try to hold or generate just let it flow naturally, normally continue practicing. <laughs> 